YouTube, it's the Weird Show back for yet another review. And I'm really, really happy to be bringing you this review today. As you know, this is part three of four um, in the Dalek sets with the Doctor. So, um, out of the four sets, this is the one set I actually never got my hands on until now. It literally just showed up in the post this morning. So now I've got all four sets. I'm loving it. I'm really, really, really happy. So, um, this is going to be a new experience for me because obviously all the other reviews I've done, I've had the figures for a while. I, I know, you know, I've had them for a while. You know, it's, this is exciting for me because I've actually never got the whole these in my hands. So, um, anyways, I'll get stuck right into it. Doctor Who, Resurrection of the Daleks Collector Set. Okay. Um, Fifth Doctor, 1982 to 1984. He wasn't on long, but still love a bit of Peter Davison. Um, this set includes um, one Fifth Doctor, um, one Davros, one Dalek, and one Supreme Dalek. From, all from this story. Okay. Now, on the back, obviously, all the characters you're getting. Information on the Fifth Doctor, and information on the story. Now, I just, um, there we go, if you want to give that a read. And there's the Fifth Doctor's one. If you want to read that, pause it now. If you want to read that one, pause it now. Okie doke. Now, I just have... Right, I'm going to go and get these open because I'm ecstatic and I really want to see what these are like. So I'll be back in two ticks, guys. So, anyways, here we are. Them out of their box. And, as always with these sets, yet again, I'm going to firstly talk about the backdrop that comes in the box. Well, yeah, it actually, like, it's one of the more simple ones, but it definitely looks like one of the best. Um, with the time corridor and the background and things, it looks bloody fantastic. So, yeah, as always, you're always getting a really good quality backdrop with these. Like, you don't have to use it, but, um, like, I'd still recommend you would, especially for photos and things, because it looks fantastic. But anyways, I'm going to get stuck into the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison. Now... Yeah, there's a as far as the likeness goes, there's a really nice likeness that's in them. Um, obviously, really nice detail of all the cricket gear on, even down to the stick of salary. But yeah, it's a really, really accurate uh, representation of the Fifth Doctor. Um, it actually looks really, really good, actually. And this is actually the very first Fifth Doctor I own. I now have all the classic Doctors apart from uh, Paul McGann, which I'm getting next. Hey! <laughs> but um, yeah. All the normal articulation is going to be curved because this is right out of its box. Uh, might be a bit stiff, but yeah, just always in the arms, both sides and the legs. Just really what you come to expect with these figures. Nothing too fancy, but enough to do you. And obviously the head never in turns, of course. But yeah, just as you would expect. But anyways, now I'm really, really happy to be uh, doing this Davros. Um, well, this is actually the first time we saw Terry Malloy as Davros. And yeah. It's a really, really accurate description of his face sculpt. Um, obviously, the Genesis and uh, Destiny, even though it's this like a different actor, it really does look like almost like the same face sculpt. Only one of them's dark and one of them isn't. Very slight changes, but on this, you can really, really, really tell it is a completely new sculpt. And yeah, it really does look like Terry Malloy's version of Davros. But remember this little bit here that always pops off. Well, there it goes again. It's just decided to fly off on its own but yeah first time this is actually meant to come off on this figure they as obviously in the other ones have done um it wasn't meant to come off but it still does because they probably just used the same chair mode but changed it slightly but yeah this part was always there but in this story it's the only time we actually get to see this panel open but yeah at least that's actually correct it would be hilarious if they actually done it in all the other three sets and didn't bother to do it on this one that would have been hilarious but well not from my point of view but maybe from yours look that's typical it doesn't want to stay on there it just keeps wanting to fly off and have its own party but anyways now let's move on to the grunt now yeah they're the grunts of the dalek army <laughs> Uh, now, as far as accuracy goes, they got the colour spot on, in my opinion. Um, you've sort of got that sort of grey blue sort of going on. It's really, really accurate to the story. Um, obviously, noticeable changes that we haven't seen on this mode before is really just on the eye stock. Obviously, the little discs are just a very different style, uh, what they went for compared to other Daleks. Uh, but yeah, 
obviously you got your gun movement and oh usually in this set um usually one of the dalek sucker plungers is fixed not on these just to see if this one moves yes it does would you believe that they actually got so much right with this uh set but yeah obviously i think it looks great it's a dalek it's always great but this is the one i'm really excited about i've been wanting to get this supreme dalek for a very very long time um obviously the color the white and the black it really just stands out and makes a dalek ever so more ever so more uh frightening but yeah, yet again we've got this cool uh, new eye stock with the discs. Obviously, same as the other one. 360 head, uh, and obviously the gun and the sucker. But you can't really see the gun, that one's all blacked out. Oh hey. But, uh, yeah, the only complaint I have about this is, yet again, I talked about um, some other Daleks. Obviously, the neck should be lifted a little bit. Um, it's a bit like a Necros Dalek. Um, the supreme the neck should be you know lifted up a little bit it's hard to see it's all blacked out but yeah it should be ever so just a little bit of a gap here um between uh, the midsection and the bottom ring um but yeah apart from that i love it so i do there's no complaints but overall as i said i love it i'm really like i said i waited about, about three or four years to actually get my hands on this set and I'm not disappointed, not disappointed at all. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I would recommend it to any Doctor Who collector, especially if you've went for any of the other sets or anything. It's just a must. It just is. Um, obviously, uh, that's it. You can't really buy this in shops anymore. You're really going to have to go on to eBay or talk to a Pacific seller or collector, you know, to actually try and get one of these. Um, the price varies, really. Depends how lucky you get. I've seen these sets sell for 80 or £90. Pound. I have seen it. Uh, but then there's others that have went for £40, £50. Pound. So it really just depends on what your luck is. I got luck, really, really lucky with this set. Um, but yeah, um, overall, it's fantastic. Everything is quite, apart from the neck uh, on the Supreme Dalek, everything is a really nice, accurate description um, from the story. Real nice face sculpts. Um, I love the little, uh, even though it's only a small detail, at least they actually got the uh, little discs on the Dalek eye stock. They got that correct, which is nice to see. But yeah, from everything that I can see so far, like even down to this, I didn't mention, like the little uh, proper little green switches. Yeah, even they're there, you know. But yeah, overall, I love it. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody out there who's watching this and thinking about buying this set. But anyway, that is it for this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to head over to my fa uh, Facebook page, uh, The Wade Show. Um, and thank you. Like, um, We've got one more part of this series coming up, and then that's it. But thank you so, so, so much, guys, for taking the time and watching this. And I hope you have an amazing day, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye-bye.